Right, let's say you start off at 15 blocks. Two years from now, you're probably not going to be at 15 blocks. You're probably going to be at like, you know, 17, a little less, a little more, something like that. Something like that. But we can talk about it. You know, that's what I like. We can talk about it in the same way that we can talk about your, your weights for Rx that day. And one of the arguments against it is that it's, well, the, the accuracy wasn't right, the prescription wasn't right. He's not a 17 block guy, he's more like a 15 block guy. It doesn't matter ultimately where you started. That argument is the same to me as, as uh, women, do you know the friend RX weight? Yes. What is it? 65. But you didn't start there, did you? What was your, what was your friend RX, what was the first time you did friend, what was the weight that you used? 45. 45. 45, right. And so the, what that argument looks like is you're stuck there, you're stuck at 45 forever. You'll forever be a 15 block guy. It's not like that at all. The thing is, you, nudging it or, or playing with it over time is essential to our practice. It's essential to taking your health and raising it and keeping it up. Okay. How do you know when it needs to change? Good question. Okay, so you're going to feel really good. You're in the zone. You're weighing and measuring. You've got it. You're going to come into workouts. It, it, it basically presupposes the idea that you are working out, and you're working out with data points. All right? That's just part of it. You're going to come into the gym. Everything's going to feel great. You're going to be improving, 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 improving. There's no end in sight. You're the baddest motherfucker on the block, and then you're just going to plateau. And the, the next day, you're not going to, you're going to feel like, oh, I didn't have it this day, or I didn't have it this day. Your friends are being like, well, you, you look really lean. Well I, well, I feel great. And the next day, it's just going to be, you can't shift up. That fifth gear that, you, that you're used to having, you just can't do it. And what, what happens at this point is that you become too lean to perform. When we turn your bodies into sports cars, the fat, 16, 14, carb, and fat. The fat at some point will have to go up because you are you are utilizing fat as your primary as your primary fuel now, not carbohydrate. Because when you're here, when these two hormones are in harmony, you are releasing fat because it's more calories per unit. Okay, not carbohydrate. And plus, you can you can store more of them. The carbohydrates, the, the ones you can use, it basically just comes from your liver and your brain. You don't want to use the ones in your brain for obvious reasons. The ones in the liver, there's not a lot. So it's the fat that you're using. And so once, once that happens, you're just going to become this fat burning machine. Because remember, in CrossFit, it's constantly varying functional movements at high intensities, high. If, for example, so here's the three pathways. You know we spend most of our time here in the very high power output, unsustainable. Versus if we stayed in the aerobic state, our fat burning capacities would be great for that workout, right? So if you ran a marathon, hell yeah, you'd burn more fat than you did if you did a five minute friend. But the fat burning effect that stays with you with friend will stay with you up to 12 to 18 hours, nine times the effect of the, of the anaerobic thing that you did. And you do that every day here for the most part, or if not two or three times a week. Okay, so you become too lean to perform. At that point, that's when I want to double your fat loss. Okay, and give it. Give it another, this is good, this is good. Okay, it's good. If you're already lean, chances are we're gonna tell you to go start off with two to three times fat. A whole new world opens once you do that. Okay? Yeah. Because when I first started, I was using peanuts because it was six <coughs> per. But then when I went to triple or, or quadruple, I was, you know, I was eating like 60 peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to switch to almonds because it's three, you switch to magnets, the fat pills, because it's one, it's one magnet per. But that's what happens. But it's your performance that will tell you. Okay, it's your performance. It's not if you're hungry, it's not if, you're, if you feel kind of weird, or if you're sore, or if you don't feel like you're recovering well. Because you can feel all those things and the performance can still be going up. Make sense? And you'll feel great afterwards. It's, it's the performance that, that's how you can tell. Yes. But if you look at issue 21, it's actually reasonable. I think for a medium male, it's 17, right? And then for Gretchen, we all know Gretchen, she's on 11. Okay, and she hasn't even, she's been doing this for a long time. It's fascinating to me because me, Rico, Hopper, Ben, Maggie, we're all at like anywhere from triple to quintuple the fat, but Gretchen's still on the one fat, one times fat. But you know when you read Nicole Carroll's story, she was on two or three times fat. Okay? But it's all performance based. Ladies, um, your chances are your block prescription is going to be a little less than the guys, so I very highly recommend. But you're going to be living here anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But for your big meals, I'd say stick with the, uh, stick with the veggies if you can. Stick with the veggies for your carbohydrate. Broccoli will become your best friend. Kale will become your best friend. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, but so, for example, what, what's, what's broccoli cooked? One and a quarter cup? One and a quarter for broccoli. Yeah, one and a quarter cup. 
So if you're eating three blocks of that, what is that? That's almost, that's almost four cups of water. <laughs> but, yeah. but if you ate a sandwich, that's it. Like that's it. Two slices of bread. You know. So that's so choose what choose wisely. Choose choose wisely what your uh, carb blocks are.